adding a property. If you don't already have properties in your system, you will see these add property buttons in these screens for the very first time. Once you've added your first properties, those will go away. So you have two ways other than that to add your first property or an additional property. One is with the plus button up here in the gray bar, and the second is to actually open the properties section. We'll go to the properties section. Click here, and now you're in the properties section. And you'll notice that we have three bars across the top showing you no properties are occupied currently, none are expiring in 60 days, and none are vacant. But to add your very first property, now you have a choice. Do you add a building or a unit? If this is your first time adding this building, you'll click add a building. From here, you type the address. You type in the city. Choose a state. Put in a zip code. Enter the year the building was built and the construction type, and the total number of units. If you have any notes, you can place them here in building notes. At this point, you want to add units. To add units, you simply click here. Unit 1A, Unit 1B, and Unit 1C. Click Create Building up at the top, and now you have three units created. And now you'll see this just refresh. Three vacant units. And that's how simple it is to add a building. You'll now notice the add a building buttons are gone from the front screen because you have your first building.